Asta maybe a little bit favors here, but not on this map. This map, they played Mirage five times. And, uh, well, they lost it all times. Now the Yuna has lost Mirage every single time. And they have a stand in Fear. So Fear is standing in for Bits, right? Yes, Bit is not playing here. Fear is going to be standing in. So now the Yuna, they have not only have the no one Mirage, and they played it five times, they now also have a stand in. So everything is, you know, tipping the way of the, the, the Chinese team here to take up this map. But let's see if that's going to be the case or not. It could always be outliers. Let's see what the Ukrainian Russian team can do here from Navi Junior. Bomb will be going down on the sides. Let's see what they can do here. Navi Junior. Well, Capacho, he will spat him right off the bat after the bomb went down. And now, well, it's a 5v3 here for Navi Junior. They're looking to pick up the pistol. Oh, that's a great burst headshot from Coltag. The Russian player is absolutely phenomenal. He gets both of them. And now back to 33 we go. But look at this. Navi Junior. Not really working out with the retake here. Capacho. Just gonna be going for the peak here. It's all down to Kurchak. He gets three. He can't get the 4k. He had to ace it to get the kill or to get the round. And he can't do it. The Capacho gets the triple and he nails the pistol for Navi Junior. So I'm not sure where Fear is from. I think it's from Ukraine uh, or Russia as well. Um, yeah. So. He's also from that country, so... Yeah, he's from Ukraine. So, he's gonna be standing in here. It's not a bad standing. And, uh... Now, well... Let's see how they go here. The Victors, they're down to just... A couple upgraded pistols here. And one AK actually on Korshak. And, uh... If I'm not mistaken, guys, isn't Fear part of Navi Unit as well? Don't they have, like, a 6-7 man roster? So, isn't he also part of the organization? That was trialing to get into Navi Junior. If I'm correct here. But let's see. We got a slow pace round here for the T side. Keep in mind guys. This is the group B. One of the one of the two B group openers. And oh, what a shot. He's flying around the corner. And he gets down because Paul drove. Now, well, more kills is happening here for the Chinese team, and they see why they don't really win the, uh, win the Mirage here, Navi Junior. No good track record on it, but Capacho, he got himself two back, so 3-3 three, three it is. And the wall bank comes in, he gets a third. Denying the bomb plant here for the Chinese team. What is the plan? What is the game plan now? Flying is another legal kill, and x -Pro, he gets another. It's a 2v1 that makes it a 1v1 fear to stand in. Trying to prove his worth to the team. I guess Flying, who's already got himself two one digs, he's looking for the third one dig as well. Doesn't want to play with the UMP. There's an AK on the ground there. He will pick it up and play with it, but 15 seconds, and he can't get it down and fair. Get himself to kill the Navi Junior to pick up the second round as well. A bit. I don't know, he has some internet issues, I think it was. Yeah, he had some internet issues, so Fair is going to play himself a bit. So, you guys know what's going on here, at least for this first map, maybe it comes back on the second map. But either way, Navi Yuna goes up on a 2-0 lead here. And we got a full buy here from the Victors coming out. Full AKs and SGs is raining out. They have a 7 play roster with 4 on trial according to the... Yeah, okay, yeah, yeah, that's what I was wondering, because so, he has the uh, jersey and everything, so... He's also part of this Navi Yuna squad. Well, Fear gets the first one, can't get the second one, Koshak will take him out. But keep in mind, this is the full buy round here for Invictus. And uh, they're now looking to close the gap here, Invictus, with this gun round. Oh, he's expecting, Vadim expecting Gust Gustafrov, Gustarov to go over there. And now Spinach gets the kill on Carpaccio. It's back to 4v2 here. The CTs, they're running thin with members. There are only two remains. And the headshot angle with flying, he just flies around. And this, you can see they make the same. They're so good. Oh, one for Anchor. 
but he's only gonna get one. So Invictus, they get the first gun round here. And it would actually surprise me a lot if Navi Junior managed to win the Mirage here. Because they just haven't been looking good on this map throughout the journey as part of Navi. So, right now, well, that was a hard first count on Navi Junior. Not getting more than, I think it was one kill there. So they're gonna have to force into this one. And if you don't win this, they're gonna have to hard eco. So. Things are not gonna look better from here now from you uh, for Navi. Let's see here. Fear he's gonna try to help them, you know. He's standing. Now he got a chance to play. For Navi, that's a great scout headshot from uh, Anker. Now he gets a chance to play for you know a team like this against Invictus. So let's see if he can use it to win with the roster. First kill's already happened, so now X Pro. Looking to head towards the B side here from short. Oh, that's a great headshot. He's fast off the second one as well. Hey, the mod is coming through, but he's gonna switch position back side here. Victus. Nice shot from Anker there with the scout. Still a possibility for him to strike right here behind the side. Can he do it? He jumps up on this and he goes around the corner and Topa goes down. That should be the bomb plant right there. There's nothing the CTs can do to deny it with just the pistols here. And well, the force fight not working out for Navi. Okay, that's a nice one tap. Uh, that's a nice kill. headshot from Anker again. Get himself a second, but can't get the third. So, Invictus, they're gonna tie it up to 2 2 here. And who do you think is gonna win, guys? Let me know in the chat. Who do you guys have winning this game? You're gonna have to favor Invictus a little bit, at least on the first map, they're gonna have favorites. And, you know, on the second, Navi Junior, they have 75% win rate on Vertigo. So Vertigo is our second map, if you're wondering. But on Train, then, as a third, Invictus, they're tipping the favor. Navi Junior hasn't really played Train. Navi? Yeah, a lot of people think Navi's gonna win. A lot of people think Invictus is gonna win. Well, let's see here. Fast play towards A side. This is a full eco for the Ukrainian Russian squad. And they just got stabbed with the battered through the smoke. Four people going down with just one kill. Not expected to get a kill, but they do get one at least. But a fast round, nothing really to talk about in that round happening. Just a straight up push through the smoke here for Navi. Now. 3 to 2 here. Looking for a gun round for the CTs. And uh, yeah, I'm very interested in that second map, Vertigo. How the teams are gonna play. What kind of strats they're gonna be going for on Vertigo? Because it's a very small map. It's not tradition to be that kind of small. The maps are usually very, very big. Like this. Same kind of size, but Vertigo is much, much smaller. Jump spotting, coming through. Mod is coming out. Here we go, smoke being deployed for Topa. Just trying to hide behind the smoke here. Trying to see what he can do when he gets the first one. He gets executed behind that and Vadim gets another one. They're falling apart here. Ooh. The offer is gonna get dinged. And I think it's just gonna save now, yeah. Navi Junior is just gonna go for the three man save. The AWP and M4 is being saved here. There's no point retaking 4v3. So, a save is gonna be on the cards. And Evictus, they're gonna get the fourth round here. And, uh. Yeah, there's a lot of mollies towards the card there. Top I couldn't reach standing's ground. Fear couldn't do too much either if we just have a mouse on short. Oh, Expert, he's getting tied up to 3 HP. But four players will survive from EG. Three for Navi. But yeah, we should definitely expect a third map here again in this series. We should expect EG to take this one. And then we should expect Navi Unit to take train uh, Vertigo. And then we should go to Train as the decider here. That's what I feel like we should see because Navi hasn't won Mirage and they played it five times. So why would it start now? Even with, they have even our stand in now as well, uh, Fear. 
So this is even harder than it was in the beginning. Even if they had if they had their five players. So we're definitely gonna be interested to see how many CT rounds they can actually win. So I don't think they're gonna get more than five Navi Junior here on the CT side. And uh, looking at that. They're doing a good job delaying uh, uh, Invictus, but the jump spot comes out flying. He's trying to make some pressing known on the B side. Fear's gonna have to make the rotation. They're not doing any damage at all, so slow paced run here for the, Chine uh, for the Chinese team. And, uh, you know. They're just trying to get some map for control. They have plenty of time to work with, and there's Koshak with the first one on anchor. And now they're rolling on today. Side Koshak with a second. The offer, uh, the offer from CT spot. How many is he gonna get? He just needed, just taking 17 damage here. He's still alive here in CT spawn. Bomb still dropped in B apps actually. They're gonna have to go back and get it. Oh, this is gonna take a lot of time. 25 seconds left. Oh man. You can, to be honest, they could just go B now instead. Yeah, that's what they're gonna do as well. 18 seconds left. Spinach gets another one. Four versus two now, but look at the HP. Four HP on three guys. Ten seconds remain. Bomb will be going down on the B side. The spraying through is gonna get the wall bang. It's all down to fear. A 1v4. Three plays is so, so low. But he doesn't know it's B side. Yeah, if they had to go back to A there with the bomb, that would have been. That could have been real dangerous, to be honest. And he's just gonna save the AK here. And there's gonna be a fifth round for Invictus. Oh, he gets the AWP. And he can save it. Spinach is gonna take him out. And there you have it, five to two. Money will not be there on Navi Junior. They're gonna have money on a few guys, but not every single one. So they may go for just a partial here. Yeah, that's what they're gonna do. They're gonna go for a partial upgraded pistol with Kevlar and Scout. So now they're not forcing fully into this, but they're not fully echoing either. So they're still gonna try to win this round. There go. Scout, not gonna get the headshot. Koshak will though. And well, they're gonna get to pick up that Scout. Now Koshak is gonna get tagged. Second guy is gonna get tagged. Two tagged. Now, uh, when they're heading over to the B side. Molly back side. Pushing out Topa. Yep. Push him out. And the second guy to fear. He gets one. That's all he's gonna get. There we go, the flying from Vadim. Well, it's an easy run again for EG. Another easy round. Not really any contest with the, the parcel here. You have it, sixth round here for Invictus. And yeah, this is not the map Navi Junior expected to win, guys. So if you're wondering like how, why Navi can't kill anybody, they're not expected to win this map. They have a terrible record on Mirage. This is Russian stream, Mobot is Russian. <laughs> I'm Birosh. My comrades. <laughs> But here we go, fast A push coming out here from EG. We can see there's a guy behind the new box here. Get the first one. He's full flashed. My goodness, he gets the second one to so Great shots coming out for him across the board. Well, him down to 10 HP. What can he do? What's up, John? Four v three, four Navi unit. This is a round they have to win. Uh, yeah, Invictus. They're looking good from their boot camp. Yeah, EG are boot camping right now, and they're looking good. They are looking good. Flying well. He can. 
Astro. This is not a good start. He gets a second. Are you kidding me? Flying. He's flying around the corner here getting these kills. It's a 2v2 and they're both players are in CT spawn. Plank coming through. They're both in CT. Now both are rotating into the jungle. Oh, he's gonna make it towards Connector or really no. Fear the stand in. Gets the first kill. Now X Pro. 80 HP SG 2v1. This is why the M4 has to defuse and the Opera has to cover him. There's their only way because they're not gonna peek before the uh, bomb defuse comes in. There we go. Oh no, he's not hitting it. He's not hitting it, and there's the offer, and he gets the round. Navi Junior gets the third. Great retake for them. Both rotating in towards the jungle. The takedown flying. Good couple shots here. But he couldn't get more after those two. He couldn't get more after those two. Yeah, I like Russia. I like the idea. So, 6-3. Missed shot there from Kulsapro. He's gonna get punished for it. The Deagle play Anchor, he gets one. He gets the second with Deagle. Can he get the third? Oh my goodness, he gets the wallbang through. A headshot the wallbang. Triple for Anchor. Oh my goodness lord. That is absolutely incredible. 4v2 now. Looking to grab the fourth round here. This is done, this is a done deal. Offer can't get anything done, and Anker gets gonna get the ace. Ace a little coming out for him. Look at these shots coming out. Look at this beautiful, especially this third right here. Bam! Crazy plays coming out for him. And uh, I know a bit of Russian. Давай, давай. So, 6-4 here, still in the lead here, the shiny, uh, the Chinese team. So, oh, Fear is gonna get pushed. Luckily he's still alive here, but he's gonna get pushed in around the corner. He gets one, he can't pull back in time. And, uh, well, well, well. One for one is a good trade for the T side. Gotta keep that in mind. And uh, now you need to try to grab five or more rounds here on the C side. Like normally they would probably be happy with six or seven. Six or seven at this point when they're down two rounds is the recipe they're looking for. Flying, he's been playing so good this guy. Is he gonna get the guy in the truck? The guy right here, the molly out. He's gonna have to switch the corner behind jail. Oh, the reaction from Capacho is not there. Capacho is watching one angle and his reaction is so slow. Anker, this guy has to try to do this. It's gonna have to be a retake, 4v3, make that a 3v3 now. Bomb down on the A side towards connector. That's gonna have to be a kill there for Capacho. And uh, right now the retake is gonna come in all three through CT spawn. Every single one coming through CT. Oh, that's a great flash. That's a great flash and Anker is gonna get the kill. The bomb is ticking though. They're gonna have to go now. Bomb is ticking. Oh, he gets the first one. The second one from Expert as well. He's gonna tap the bomb. Is he gonna stick it? No, he doesn't stick it. Anker is gonna have to run away. Seventh round for EG. He does survive though with 7 HP actually. He does survive. And uh... Well, well, well. Here we go. Now the Junior can't make the retake happen this time around. Last time they did. But now... Was denied. Two frags on their main offer. Gross puzzle. And the aiming is just not on point here for the Navi Junior lineup. And just whiffing. They're not getting the full kills. 
And this is gonna be a problem going over to the T side. But there's still more T uh, CT rounds to be played here in the first half. Keep in mind guys, this is the first map in this vessel 3. This is the future members of Navi guys. This is why Navi Uno established their team. This is the future top players in Ukraine and Russia to replace once the Navi players get old. <laughs> oh, but this this is the future stars. And, uh, let's see what they can do about it. Nothing this round perhaps due to the kills happening in the way of the T's. 3v2 now for EG. No, they're not. Okay, guys. You guys are a little bit too harsh against this team right now. They're still young. They still have a couple more years to develop. And, uh, well, bomb plant is going to happen on the B side. And it's going to be the AWP and the SG saved here for Navi Junior. So they're going to give Invictus the 8th round. And EG, well, they're gonna have a guaranteed half-time lead here on the T side. Uh, I'm from Sweden. I'm always almost neighbor with Russia. Hello, Russia. <laughs> and. Uh... Let's see here. Next run is gonna be next few runs is gonna be very important to have a unit to, to get a grip here in this match. <laughs> yes, my ma my viewer, yeah. So eight four three remains of the first half here. Now we're gonna have to get two at least, I would say. And uh and sometimes, yeah, people saying this is a city side map, that's correct, but most of the time, teams are winning more rounds on the T side. So don't be surprised if uh, Navi Unus also win more T, uh, T rounds, more than CD. Because that's what normally what we're seeing here in this kind of, in this kind of tournament, lower tier matches. The mod is out for Shadow, Mo smokes and everything as well is being deployed. And it's smoking away the entire side. Look at this, the entire A side has been smoked off. There's nothing for Navi unit to do about it. They're gonna have to go for the retake, 5v5 retake. Plant going down in reverse. Smoke just being going away now. But now, look, 5v5 retake for Navi unit on A side. How are they gonna muster this? How on earth are they gonna be able to do this? They have a flank. But if he's gonna, if he's gonna walk all the way, this is gonna take a lot of time. The bomb has gone more than halfway now. Topa, you gotta make a move. Here they come, they do have the kit. But the guy who has the kit is gonna have to get the defuse. And he's just gonna hide in the smoke here. The bomb is ticking. When is the kills? Where's the kills? This is not happening. The time is running out. And it's gonna have to run. He doesn't do it. Korshek has the final kill. A ninth for the victors. And the retake so, so slow. But the kills is happening in the way of Invictus. Great job coming out here from the Chinese squad. And, uh, hello. Oh, nice country, Sweden. I like Scandinavian countries. Hello from Russia. I like systems. <laughs> yes, Pokemon. No, I don't like it. Hello, man. Thank you guys for tuning in, everybody. Hope you guys enjoy the games. Two rounds remains. It's pistols across the board here for Navi Uno. It's probably going to give Invictus a tenth round here to work with double digits going into the second half. And uh, oh, the body coming through is going to take down Topa. He falls down. It's just fear. Actually, they have three players on the B side. The bomb has not committed yet. The bomb is actually still back. Oh, are we going to see another Deagle play? We're gonna see another deagle action. Spray comes out, we'll connect. Expecting a second guy to jump up, he's here. 
but it's not jumping up. And uh, 35 seconds left. The bomb is working towards A. Spin is just waiting on B. Oh, he goes down. This is probably going to cost the rotation for the second CT. Oh, he goes for the spam. He can't get it. He's the only one in CT. The second guy is in jungle. He can't get the kill. This is going to be a 10th round here for Invictus. There you have it. 10-4. Navi unit can get best 5 rounds. And uh, always when you... Uh, in, I'm going to type something in the chat. You guys always type smiley face like this. <laughs> This is how Russians type smiley face. And then like the sad face, like this. <laughs> so 10 to 4, we got a fast A play coming out here for Invictus. And uh... Let's see here, Spinach gets the first one. Anker is gonna get pulled out here. Here. Trade, but the A side once again has been given up from the junior squad. The youngsters has to give it up again. And this is why they don't have the best track record on Mirage. They just, other teams are just so much better on it. Flash coming in. Vadim should see him coming out connector here, Topa. Topa is not going to check the corner. He just killed the guy in jungle. So they're not going to check this. A minute to go. Bomb yet to get planted. Bomb has yet to be planted. Oh, he's watching behind. He doesn't expect the guy coming in jungle. First kill coming in. Second for Vadim. Vadim, an X-Pro. And they're all getting the kills here for EG. And there's the final one for flying. He's going to fly up on the box and get it. 11 for Hall for Invictus on map one. They're dismantling Navi Junior. What a... One sided ma a half we had from Invictus, they're just wrecking on the T side. Reckonings is happening everywhere. And uh yeah, I think they need your help. If you're if you're from the CAS region, Navi Union needs your help right now to get back on track, go into the second half. They definitely need to get the help. 11-4 down on the CT side, and that's rough. That is rough. Let's see though. Is Bit back? Maybe it's just that I don't think Bit is back actually for the second half. I think it's just default overlay. So I still think Fear is playing. Maybe. Who knows? Either way, 11-4. Yeah, Victor, nothing is going to stop them in their tracks right now. <laughs> they need a miracle, that is correct. And well, Capacho goes down first. Expo is going to get traded out. And here comes the play on the B side. Flying is going to have to get a couple one taps here. He gets one on Bit. And Bit seems to be back in action here. If nothing is wrong. Bomb will be going down in a 3v2. It's gonna have to be a run for Navi unit. They have to win this pistol. Oh no, he's falling apart. He's on top and he's gonna get one tap by Vadim as well. Double for Vadim and Invictus. They win the pistol as well. And at this point, the sail has maybe shipped away. The ship has sailed away into the darkness probably at this point. 12th round. Haha, <laughs> yeah. So, 12-4, it's going to be an eco run, just a few upgraded eagles, that's it, for Navi Junior. So we should see 13 rounds here, do anybody expect us to go to 3 maps? Because after this first map, going this way, I'm not sure we could see Navi Junior winning a map in this kind of state. Topic has won. I'm not sure, Vertigo is up next. Vertigo is map 2, that is Navi Junior's map pick. We get to see Vertigo, that's very nice. Long time ago since I saw Vertigo between two teams. And 
Bit is gonna go down. 13-4. Okay, so Bit is back, guys. So Bit is back, for sure. Let's see if anything is gonna change now when he's back. Let's see if anything is gonna change. He's coming on the second half, trying to help his team, but I'm not sure this map is already too far gone, perhaps. Full by Rondo. Full by Rondo indeed. And, uh... So... Yeah, hopefully Vertigo is going to get a little bit more interesting than this first map here. Bit did not work. Okay, that's why. No, he, uh, I heard he had internet issues, so he couldn't play the first half. So, but he's back now. Playing for the rest of the game. But yeah, hopefully Vertigo is going to get a little bit more interesting than Mirage here. But it's still not over yet, because Bit is back on the server, guys. Keep this in mind. This guy's a beast. This guy could carry the team on to a victory here on Mirage, even though they're thirteen four down. So first kill gone away of bit. He gets the second one as well. Look at this guy. This guy is not stopping. And he gets a third as well. Bit. This guy is online. Capacho gets the fourth, and now this run is done. Bits triple, it nails the round for them. They're gonna get themselves a fifth. Popo with the final kill. And uh, that's gonna be the fifth that we were talking about. And uh, play to keep, on, uh, keep in mind is Flying. What a name. I love that name, Flying. I'm good, dude. I don't really know. I, I don't really do that at, at the moment. But, uh... Oh, the person went through an app. Oh, flying. How is he getting that kill? I don't get it. I do not get it. Capacho goes down. And this is a four spy from EG. Keep that in mind, guys. A four spy. As you can see, you got one M4, one Scout, the Eagles, and now picked up an AK. Not the run Navi Junior should lose. Not at all. P250. Guess the damage dealt. He gets a Scout kill as well there, Koshak. Oh, Expert's gonna hear him. Oh, he's gonna get both. Oh, no. Oh, no, he misses the shots. Oh, no, Expert. You had a guaranteed kill there. At least one guaranteed. Even if you didn't want to shoot the first guy, you could have killed the guy planting. And it would have been a 2v1. Oh no, X-Pro. There we go. Papa goes down. It's all on to go Spadrov. What can he do? He gets the first one. Can he nail the second? He does! He knows where the last one is. And he can't hit the shot. He's down to 6 HP. One bullet and he's dead. Vadim. He just needs to play Ring Roses around the side here with him. Oh my goodness, he gets the no scope with 6 HP remains. And he saves Navi for another round. That is ludicrous. Crazy shot. First one is nice. But look at these last two. Nice one. And this one right here. Coming through in the no scope. We're gonna see it right here. Look at this. Bam! Great shot coming through. I, I'm not. I'm not sure if Navi can win this game. They're not gonna. I don't think they're gonna win this first map at least. Maybe they could win the Vertigo and force a third map. But I don't really know. It's looking hard for them. The rounds they're winning is very very close. So they need to to convince me. They need to get. You know, around with like four or five alive. So here we go. This is just pistols from Nav uh, from Invictus. Just the pistols coming through, and they're getting wrecked. Some A stack. 
They're getting one kill, almost the second one. Flying is on the flank here, but this is going to be a 7 to run for Navi Junior. Oh, he gets the one big. Almost gets the second one as well. But Bit with another triple kill. And, uh, yeah, but Invictus, they need three more rounds on the CT side. I just highly doubt they're not, you know, they're not going to get it. You know, they probably will get that. That's why I think Navi Junior, they are, you know, I'm, I'm counting them out on this map. Just because it's been too far gone so far this map. And uh, right now looking at the utility again, this is a triple, again it's going to have to be with just upgraded scouts and pistols, so Victor's past three rounds they had pretty bad money actually. But they've been doing pretty good with it still, so, oh Spinoch she's in the apps here, can I get taken out? <clears throat> so, I'm getting planted. And uh, just gonna see exit kills coming out. But uh, 38, this is where the real game begins. Invictus, they're gonna get guns in the next round. And well, that's where the threat is gonna begin for the Navi Junior side. These past three rounds have just been forces and ecos for days. In my opinion, Jimmy Neutron was a better show than Dexter's Lab. I don't know. Maybe it was actually. Either way, 13 8 for Invictus still here, map 1. And, uh,. Do anybody believe in the comeback? Can we get some believers in the chat? For Navi Junior's comeback here on Mirage. And, uh, no. Okay, never mind. <laughs> we go 13 10. I'm gonna start believing it's 13 11. That's when I'm gonna start believing in the comeback here for Navi Junior. But here we go. Look at Spinach. He's in all fangle. He gets the first one. Second for Vadim. This is now falling apart here. They're going down one by one, Navi Junior. And this is collapsing. There you go. Find a player for Salvo. He gets the one with the AWP. How many more is he gonna get? He's getting flanked. Knife him, knife him, knife him. Go for the knife. Oh, he's not going for the knife. He's going for the safe kill. And that's the 14th round for Invictus. I would have gone for the knife kill there. Get some extra money as well, even though they don't need the money. But it will be a 14th for EG. And this is their map with EG, keep in mind. So, you know, they expected to win this first map. Vertigo is Navi Junior's map pick. So, Invictus, they've been controlling this map through this entire game. So, appreciate you guys all tuning in. Hope you guys are enjoying the casting and the show and the matches in the Elbet Invitational Season 2. I did Season 1 as well, and we had some pretty good teams there as well competing in Season 1. Always, we got these kind of region matches, like uh, Chinese team playing, Thailand team playing. Teams from these kind of regions we have playing usually in the Elbet Invitational. It's good promotion for these regions and get to play against like EU teams like this that the normal don't get to play in official uh, environments and oh wait, the bomb is dropped Spinach he's gonna see the bomb oh man he's gonna go back and get it and now he's gonna die oh 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 Spinach completely whiffing with the aim but he gets the second one can't get the third though but it's a 4v2 in the grand scheme of things so he will finish in the end there but that looked really shaky that kill there we go execution coming up from flying is all down to tap uh, Topa 
And it's gonna be map point from Invictus. Map point 15 to 8 here. There's nothing cool we can do about it. He gets the one, but not the second. A lot of map points here on map one. And it's gonna take a it's gonna take a miracle for Navi unit to come back here on the Mirage on the T side to put it into an overtime. It's gonna take more than a miracle. They're gonna have to pray to God. Jesus. I don't know if they believe in Jesus or God, but they're gonna have to pray to everyone. Let's try to mount this comeback. You can see they got three AKs and two pistols. That's it for this round. And, uh, <clears throat> here we go. Flashes and nades coming on the B side. That nade is huge. And, oh man, they're gonna get cooked here. Now we are. They're gonna get cooked on the B bomb side. There's one, there's two. Where's the third kill? Okay, it has happened for the T side though. So they got it out. And they have the sights. But there's still more flashes and mollies on the CT side. Molotov in car. Bit close point. Point blank range takes down the first one and gets traded out. The seconds remain. Goes down and there's a double kill coming out here from EG. And they're gonna pick up the first map. 16-8 on Mirage. They're rolling over Navi unit.